So there we are. Everything sold. And this is what we got. I'm so grateful. I've already stuffed a load of stuff in the back. Tie my backpack to the back. No more weight on my feet. I had to sell everything, including the uh, chainsaw. But I finally got a set of wheels again. Now, set of wheels accomplished. Now it's time to see if we can find somewhere to call home again. I've been trolling over the map this morning. That's what I was just doing, sitting by the fire there. And uh, I think I may have found a place that may be worth looking at. It's a... Uh, next to a lake, so there's fresh water, there's fish, and uh, I'm hoping, hoping it's going to have everything we need. So we're going to go and check that out this morning, and the best thing is it's, it's still close to the trader. I would want it to be in proximity because I have to think of fuel now again. Um, uh, I want it to be close to the trader, but not too close. I don't I don't want to have you know people. Friendly or foe, too close to me, really. I'd rather be the lone wolf in this situation. So it's a little bit of a trek. Got to watch it on these slippery roads. Last thing I want to do is break a leg. But it's a bit of a trek, but hopefully we'll get there in one piece. But today's task is looking for somewhere to call home, or at least, you know, fortify and build up a little bit, try and get something going, really, that's what we want. That lake is where we're heading. That is where I'm hoping there'll be a building of some kind, maybe, that we can uh, we can fortify. Or at least put a couple of planks up the window anyway. Keep those scratching nails and arms out. That's the plan. 
that's where we're heading, down to that lake. There's, like I said, fresh water, which is my number one priority. Fish. The food, that's the second priority. So those two things are covered, really. Close to the city there, or city town, rather large town. So, quite close to that water town where we found that chainsaw as well, which is always handy. So there's a few things around, and it's not too far away from the trader. I mean, there, according to the note that um, whoever it was left me. The, the green circles are indicated by the traders, so there's actually four of them all dotted around the place. This one was the closest one to me up here on this mountain, but now that I've got the bike, provided I've got fuel, which I'm keeping a very close eye on, no, I guess I can make my way to another one. Maybe they have better prices, maybe they have better stuff. Who knows? That's just something I'll have to um, try and investigate, I guess. But, um, oh, the snow's finished. Thank God for that. Gently go down here. Try and avoid that town to begin with. Make it easy going down the hill. Right. Here on on foot would have taken me. Oh, three, four days maybe, you know, and then there's the risk of I could have quite easily have slipped off of that mountain, give myself a broken leg. Um, let's, I know it's not designed, but let's cut through here. Because the the one problem with vehicles is the noise, so I don't really want to attract too much attention. But she seems to be quite stable on this grassy stuff. <coughs> right, there's another little complex here. Need to get out of these trees. actually isn't a bad place. A little bit on the open road though. 
I'm not too sure about. Right, here's the lake. Here's the lake. I really gutted I had to sell my binoculars. What's that over there? That looks like a bunch of tents. Um, something over there too. Let's go and see what these tents are. Nobody said this thing was perfect. Someone's got a loose cable somewhere. The ignition keeps cutting out. I may be able to fix that. I want to see what these tents are. Someone got a camp up here? Right. Um, let's see if we can get a bit of higher ground here. Let's leave you here. It's this place. Hornfield. Nice. I don't know what this place is. I'm honest. Ah, look. Oh, so this is some kind of military outpost, I guess, by the looks of it. These are all military guys. Hmm. I should check this out. They may have some good gear on them. Well, someone's fortified that up. Another building over there. Oh, look, a communications array. Not spinning, though, so I'm guessing it's not in use. That's one of those bloody explosive things. Oh, I need to get rid of you. Right, that is you taken care of. Ooh, wow. One, two, there's quite a few there. Another one? That is another one. The problem with these guys is they've got their armor on. Quite tricky to get through. Oh, it's got me worried now. I don't know if there's more of those explosive ones here. There are the two big guys. Let's just take this slow. There might be some good stuff here if it's a military training ground. See anything else? See anything else apart from those guys. They're going to take a few rounds, they are, with that vest on. Don't know if that guy's down. He might just be behind that tent. Oh, there's another one there, look, straggler. Slow and steady. I'm worried if there's another one of those things. Can't see them. Right. Just hold here for a minute, see if I see anything else pop round. Oh, I can see another one just down there.
Not sure if they're high in the tent or not. If I can get round to the left here. Oh, yes, look, see. Two of them still. One left. Here we go. Right, I'm hoping that that is everybody. But I'm still going to be cautious here. It could be one down below this hill. I don't want it to be them bloody explosive ones. Because if it's one of those, I'm done for. What I'll do is I'll see if I can get to this hut here, or this lookout. I don't hear anything, which is nice. Right, should be clean. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of military training ground. Yeah. There's nothing up here. One on the road. No, okay, I can't hear them, so it should be okay. Just in case. Let's get the old block out. Just to see. Might be ones in here. That must be worth a few bob. Holographic site. Scarf. Take that. Nothing on the tables. Oh, these crates. Oh, a tactical holster, a blue one. I've got a black one, but sell it. What's this? Very broken. 1911. Well, maybe able to do something with it. Who knows? Anything up here? Flare, always useful. In here? Oh. Did just see you on the floor. No, that's quite handy. Nothing in here? Nope. Nothing in this one either. Oh, it is only a small camp. One other one of those things. Okay. Right, let's just check this tower before uh, go into the building. Also, a bit wary of that. That. Uh, so obviously someone has fortified that base over there, or that building. Of course, not knowing if they're friend or foe, I uh, keep my wits about me a little bit. Right, how much we got? Should be. Oh, look, I completely missed this. How stupid of me. even see that. Yeah, I need to be thorough. Really thorough. I can't even remember if I checked this one. Empty. I think I did. Right, let's check this building. Maybe there's something in here. Oh, hello. Oh, 
that's not good. Yeah, this is getting, this needs to clean this block now. It's getting, uh, getting quite a few jams. Uh, I need a lot. I think I can make a sewing kit with that. That's handy. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing on the tables. Uh, nope, not much there either. Screwdriver? Handy. Hello. Hello? Hello? You mind telling me what you're doing in my house, son? Uh, there's no lock on the door. Okay, that's because I'm old-fashioned, okay? I don't need no lock. Okay, these here are my friends. You just killed all my friends, you know that? You're, you're dead friends, yeah? You mind not sh pointing the light at me? Nah, I'm, I feel comfortable this way, okay? I'm a police officer, and these were my friends. Murdered them in cold blood. I watched you kill all of them. And now you're looting. My own hole. These guys are dead, my friend. You were a police officer. I, I, I was too a police officer. Mel Metropolitan Police, 17 years I was on the force. And I ended up here. Well, I am currently a police officer, okay? I've been 20 years LAPD. You got a badge? Yeah, I got it right here. All right, you want to see it? Go on. There's no need for that. That's all you need. That's all the ID you're going to get. Okay. So what were you doing here in my home? Were you stealing from me? Were you stealing from me? Huh? No. Listen, I don't know. I don't know how long you've been on the island, but there's a few things you do around here. First of all, you need a license to be killing these puppets. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to see some uh, identification and your tags, and they better be up to date. Oh, well, I don't have any of that. I'm afraid I'm going to have to write you up. For what? This is a... First of all, you're being very rude to me. Okay, I'm an officer of the law. I, too, was an officer of the law. Like I said, the real law, not this law. Outside these walls. 17 years. Look, buddy, I'm just trying to do my thing. Surviving. I saw there was one of them explosive things here. That was Bob. And now he's in pieces, thanks to you. Bob was your friend? The, he's my brother. Who put the vest on him? Oh, I did, but, you know, that's because he was acting up, you know? So you're a corrupt cop. No, 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 no. I, you don't, I, you don't, you don't be, listen, you don't be putting C4 vests on people, dude. Listen, 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 listen. I'm a, I'm a stand-up officer of the law. I would never do anything like that to anybody. Trust me. It was just a, you know, it was supposed to be a dummy. Uh, the person who sold it to me lied. Okay, that's all it is. Well, I think we're in a bit of a predicament here. Because if you call these your friends, then um, I think maybe you need some help, my friend. These guys well, you see, and ladies. Well, you see, uh, these they, guys were my friends, but they, they turned into those things and I just kept them around, you know? Ah, so you were doing... 
you were doing, you were trying to do that. Okay, okay. So why didn't you say that to start with? It would have been a lot easier. Well, that's what I meant the whole time, but okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put my piece away now. We, we, we good? This is actually my summer home. Um, I'm, my, uh, my precinct and my, uh, basically my jurisdiction is over there at C2. Okay. Okay. But uh, I heard, uh, I think I heard a bicycle or uh, some motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, I, I was following it and it led me here. I think it was you. Possibly. I saw you didn't have any, uh, you didn't have any license plates on your, uh, your vehicle. That's how the trader gave it to me. Okay, but you got to register it at the DMV. Okay, I'm going to write you up. Okay, and what happens if I don't follow your your supposed orders? Listen, it's a very simple fine, okay? It's a, it's a very simple fine of a million dollars. I'm sure that you'll be able to pay it off within the week. Yeah, okay. Uh, you see the door? Don't, don't let it hit you on the way out. Listen, if you cannot pay the fine... Uh, maybe there's there's other methods you could do, you know. Uh, I'm really into socks. If you have any of those, socks. That yeah, correct. I'm, I collect socks. It's a habit of mine. Okay, uh, I don't have socks, but uh, I think I think maybe is there a doctor on this island? Do you know? Uh, there's two combat medics that I know of, but no official okay, doctors. Okay, so maybe you should go see them. How come? Well, your friends, you're keeping your friends. You know, as a police officer, if you really are a police officer, the best thing to do is to put these guys out of their misery. And you're just letting I mean, them I'm here... I was using them as as a defense mechanism, you know? Okay, but if it wasn't me, I'm sure some other dude or lady would have come along and done exactly the same thing. This is survival, my friend. One man's junk is another man's treasure. I mean, this is true. This is true. This is why I became... This is why I can continue to be an officer so I can charge people and overcharge them and hunt them down if they don't pay me. Okay, but... A million bucks? I, right. Have you seen All Have right. you seen for the you, situation we're in? Listen, listen. For you, I'll give you the police officer family discount uh, from a million dollars. I'll cut it down to nine hundred eighty thousand. I'll give you this. Thoughts? There you go. I gave you a hat. I actually like it. I'll knock off another 10000 out of the price. Yeah, so that ain't happening, dude. Alright, listen. What do you have of value? The hat I just gave you. And if you want... Yeah, a needle. Just, you know, be careful you don't poke your eye out. It's sharp and All pointy. Right. I'll take the I'll take the needle. I'll take the needle. Consider our business done, okay? You don't owe me anything anymore. The needle, very precious to me. Because that was my friend's. It was my friend's needle. Okay. I took it off that guy, whoever that was. Yeah, that was, um, that was Paul. My other brother. You know, you big got a lot of brothers. So where's you, you said this is your summer home? Where's your where's your base of operations then? Uh, I work for the Ice Wolves up there in uh, C two. Ah, you're part of the Ice Wolves. Okay, I've run into them before. Well, I I work for them. I don't 
necessarily am a part of them, but so they, what's they their what's their traders. what's their leader's name? That is uh that is uh God what was it Fernando Alejandro something something I don't, I don't know that guy hey if you ask me you know that guy he's just he's a few butts short from a stack you know what I mean Okay you got the first name right so I'll let you off I'll let you off Yeah that guy that guy was just a few two screws loose. So we good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my name's um Officer uh, Vasquez, by the way, okay? And I run the scum security of the island. I am an officer of the island, okay? Like I said, I work for the C2 Ice Wolves. Um, my main piece team is C2. Okay. Just north of the C2 trader. The, with the Ice Wolves headquarters, yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm basically on the river of the C2 trader. I, I made a bridge. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I, I saw that. I saw that. Okay. Okay. I know. I know where. Mm -hmm. That's where I reside. And that's where, uh, I made that bridge so it could be easier to go from the town to the traders. You know, it's a good shortcut. Is it open to the members of the public? Or only for yourself? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. It's is completely open for a small toll charge of five hundred dollars. Okay, so okay. okay. You you happen to have that on you? And then it's a one time payment. No, I don't. I just sold everything I had so I could get the bike because I can't be on my feet all day. And my back. So, I I've got what I have in my hands, in my pockets. And I just given you a hat and a needle. Okay, all right. You have it rough out there, huh? I do, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been it's been it's been rough. It has ever since those but... bastards stole all my stuff. Yeah, that's been happening. That's been happening lately. I've been um, trying to crack down on it myself, actually. Any leads? It, actually, yes. I believe... You didn't hear from me, but there's a group around the B3 airfield. Apparently, uh, they raided some people. You know, I've heard this from a reliable source, but I can't neither prove or, you know, deny it. Does, does this group have a name? Alias? Yes, yes. They're called the, um, the Unseen Ghosts or something? Unseen Geists? Something like that. Okay, any idea how many in the group? Uh, minimum... I, th I believe I was told around 8 to like 12 people. Okay, so quite a big group then. Are you uh, are you alone? I'm I'm alone. Yeah, I'm alone. There's no one else here. You have my word. No, no I mean I meant like are you surviving on your own? Yes, I'm surviving on my own. I have been ever since I was thrown in this godforsaken place. Is that is that it's by choice. For now. For okay. now. Okay. It's, uh... You should know something about it if you're LAPD. Let's call it police instinct. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of people on the force with me. But, uh... They've been asleep for a bit, and, uh, to be honest, so have I. But, you know, I'm awake now. Okay, good. So C two C two River Trader is your base. So if I get any any hints as a favor, because you know it's in my DNA. If I hear or see anything of these ghost faggots, then I'll uh, I'll try and let you know somehow if they're causing a problem. Again, 
uh, I don't know if it's true. You know, uh, it was a rumor that I heard. I'm like I said, I'm investigating myself. It's between them and this other group uh, that lives super south on the Z Islands. Uh, so we got some kind of gang warfare going on here, have we? Actually, yeah, I, I believe there there is some kind of thing going on. Well, I mean, uh, on. It's not too late. If you want to go and scope out the airfield, uh, I don't mind coming to give you a hand. I'm not saying we have to engage, but we can, uh, you know, sit in the tree line and just see what's going on. Maybe we'll spot some activity. Yeah, yeah, can do. Okay. I'm parked uh, just down the road. I'm I'm um, I'm a little ways just to the just to the north in the bushes. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll I'll meet you sort of well, out here, I guess. Just yeah, on the just main drive, road. Yeah, uh, drive. There's a road. Yeah, yeah. Follow this road to the main road. I'll be down there. Okay. Okay. Your name? Uh, what's your name? Uh, Charles. But most people call me Candy, because I got a sweet tooth. All right, all right, Candy. I'll be on this road. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was interesting. A supposed LAPD police officer who's trying to police the island of death. Right. I agreed to go with him just. You know, I, I want to suss him out. I want to see what's happening. I want to uh, see if anything he said is the truth or if all just a, a sack of lies. But we shall see, I guess. We shall see. And if there is some kind of gang warfare going on, then... Uh, I guess it's good to kind of know about it, but what I will do... is, uh... get rid of all of this stuff and just put this in the bike. Is uh... Don't, just in case anything happens, he's trying to be a sneaky ass. Uh, this stuff is a little bit of value, so uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll just keep that in there for now. All right, let's see what this guy's all about. 